So Le Chatelet's principle uh, talks about how a system will respond to disturbances. Okay, so basically, let's just say what it says. Le Chatelet's principle states that an equilibrium system will shift in the direction that minimizes any disturbance. to that equilibrium system. So the two words uh, in there that I think we need to talk a little bit more about, explain, are shift. What do we mean by when we say it shifts? Okay. And then disturbance. What is a disturbance to equilibrium? All right. <coughs> so we just talked about it. Uh, we know that the uh, what equilibrium is is when the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse. Okay. So that's what equilibrium is. So if we're disturbing that equilibrium, what we're really doing is messing with the rates. We're disturbing the rates of the reaction. Okay. And so we know. what messes with rates we know what affects rates rather okay or okay so what kind of things affect rate temperature, temperature. so we can mess with the temperature and that would mess with the equilibrium what else affects rates concentration What else? Pressure. Uh, for gases, uh, we can affect basically the concentration by um, changes to pressure and volume. Because you can compress gases. You can affect their moles per liter by changing the liters. You can change their volume. You can compress them or expand them. And then there's one more thing that can affect rate. Catalyst. Catalyst. Good. Okay. But it turns out that last one, a catalyst, or a catalyst uh, it, uh, we know it lowers the activation energy of a reaction. That's what causes it to increase the rate, right? Well, it actually lowers the activation energy for both rates, the forward and the reverse, so this one doesn't affect the equilibrium. So it's not really a disturbance, but I just wanted to talk about it. Just in case you were wondering later, like, what about a catalyst? He didn't talk about a catalyst. You know, you might think that. All right, so really all we're going to have to really think about is uh, temperature and concentration. And then for gases, pressure volume uh, changes. Okay? So to do that, uh, we'll start talking about that, and then we'll explain what a shift is.